Greetings, this is Glenn Lader from the National Weather Service in Tucson. Let's take a look at monsoon 2019 and some of the key factors that go into making a forecast for the monsoon, which extends from June 15th through September 30th. While there are many factors to consider when making such a forecast, we'll consider three of the most common, ocean temperatures, antecedent or current moisture conditions, and climate models. Equatorial Pacific waters are currently in a weak El Nino state meaning temperatures are 0.5 degrees Celsius to 1 degree Celsius above long-term normals. El Nino can often mean a dry weather pattern during the monsoon in southeast Arizona, although the correlations are weak. However, during September, these warmer sea surface temperatures can help tropical weather systems to track further north, possibly bringing late monsoon rainfall. As for the antecedent wet conditions, this favors a later northward advance of our monsoon high, which can mean a later onset of monsoonal rainfall. Finally, the seasonal climate computer simulations are leaning towards a below normal start to the monsoon for precipitation, with more mixed signals late in the monsoon. Given all this, we are favoring a late onset to the monsoon with below normal rainfall early, then rainfall totals closer to average during the latter part of the monsoon. We'll take a look at each of these factors in more detail, but first note that four weather patterns have been identified during the monsoon. While type 1 is the most common, we usually see more than one of these in a season, and any of these can dominate in any given season. For more details, check out the Monsoon Tracker webpage at weather.gov slash Tucson. So if you were to receive normal rain at your house during this monsoon, how much rain are we talking about? Obviously that depends on your location. Southern and eastern areas of southeast Arizona tend to get more rainfall than northern and western areas and mountains tend to receive more rain than valleys. Rainfall generally peaks in July and August, but varies from year to year. In this series of maps, heavier average rainfall amounts are shown in orange and red, which corresponds to three to six inches of rain during the month indicated. As you may remember, the 2018 monsoon as a whole had generally near or above average rain across the region. This map shows the percent of average rainfall during the 2018 monsoon. As depicted on the map, there were a few spots with below average precipitation, although it should be noted that many of these same areas saw considerable rain shortly thereafter in October. Now back to those factors that go into the monsoon outlook. The relationship between equatorial Pacific Ocean temperatures and our monsoon rainfall is fairly weak, but worth taking a look at. As we start monsoon 2019, we are in a weak El Nino state and forecast to remain that way through the monsoon. As mentioned earlier, El Nino tends to favor a drier monsoonal pattern. However, during an El Nino autumn, there can be more tropical cyclone activity in the Pacific Ocean, and some of that moisture can reach southeast Arizona, which could increase our September rainfall totals. Another factor that can influence the monsoon is the current state of the ground across the region. Snowpack, soil moisture, and drought all play a role. In order for monsoonal moisture to advance northward into Arizona, High pressure to our south first needs to shift northward. The high will normally progress northward each summer as the northern hemisphere heats up, but this progression can be slowed when the land mass is wet due to above normal winter and spring precipitation, since dry soils heat up quicker than wet soils do. As this warming occurs, the high migrates northward, allowing moisture to increase across southeast Arizona. Computer models are the final factor we look at when attempting to predict what the monsoon may be like. A consensus of longer term computer models are indicating a below normal start to the monsoon in the June through August period, with the signals a bit more mixed later in the monsoon during the July through September period. The official outlook from the Climate Prediction Center for June through August and July through September shows warmer than normal temperatures across much of the West. Precipitation has a higher likelihood of being below average during the June through August period. For the July through September period, there is an equal chance of having a below average, average, or above average precipitation. This means that there is no strong indication to lean towards a wet or dry July through September period for our area. Above average rainfall is indicated from northern Arizona into New Mexico. To summarize, a later onset of monsoonal moisture and rainfall is expected across parts of southeast Arizona. Additionally, rainfall during the latter part of the monsoon 
could be enhanced by tropical weather systems feeding off warmer September ocean temperatures. Climate models are now favoring slightly enhanced chances for a drier monsoon, especially early, which matches the official forecast from the Climate Prediction Center. No matter how the monsoon turns out with precipitation, rainfall will likely be variable from location to location. Remember that in the desert, every drop counts, so it's important to use our water wisely. Also remember to please be prepared for flash flooding and other dangers associated with thunderstorms during the monsoon. Thanks for listening to this presentation. For additional information about the monsoon, climate prediction, and monsoon safety, see the websites listed here. Stay tuned for more information and stay safe.